my hat turned around the other way. Um, I've been feeling a little bit self-conscious recently and I, I, I've been blaming social media. Um, mainly because of the adverts I get. Um, they range from hair loss pills to Viagra to casual everyday helmets. Um, I found out why, because every time I piss my girlfriend off, uh, she goes up to my phone and she shouts, Small dick doesn't work, no hair retard! <laughs> Uh, my search history doesn't help. Um, one of the things I'm very self-conscious about is my weight. Um, so I went to the doctor recently and I asked them, uh, what's the best way to lose weight really quick? Uh, and they said it's to increase your heart rate as much as you can throughout the day. So I stopped taking my anxiety and depression medication. Uh, I'm panicking away the pounds. Fretting away the fat. As we speak. Um, it did work. Work. Um, so I went on the dark web and I bought some weight loss pills. Uh, they basically turned out to be speed. Um, I'm eating less but I'm chewing a hell of a lot more. Um, that didn't work either. Uh, so now I'm sad but fast. Like an even bluer Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, one good thing is I'm quite tall so like I can hide the weight quite well like on the top shelf. Um, but it's not always easy being tall, alright? Because I can never wear a trench coat. Because I look like two kids trying to sneak into a cinema. I could never live in a cottage. I'd have to go on the knees. And no one wants that. I'm really bad at paintball. Like, I'm just a big, slow moving target. Uh, me running between trees looks like lost Bigfoot footage. Funny enough, uh, we had someone um, earlier whose nickname, uh, well, he had an Italian nickname. Uh, my nickname at school was Bambi, like the deer. Um, it was originally because I moved from South London to Surrey, I was new to the woods. Um, it then turned into a nasty rumour that got spread around my school that my mum got shot. <laughs> Guess which one children chose to believe? School was hard for me, even before like everyone thought my mum was dead. Uh, mainly because I'm dyspraxic. Does anyone know what dyspraxia is? Okay, some of you. The other ones were treated, treat me just like the teachers did, where they were like, just don't touch his ears and you'll be absolutely fine. Um, the way that they told me was handled in the worst possible way. I got sent out for a few tests where they made me throw a tennis ball against the wall uh, and then write my name out 300 times. Alright, yeah, it was hard for me as well. Uh, after all these tests uh, come through, I got sat down, and the teacher sat me down, and she said, Look, Connor, you're dyspraxic. It's fine, it's absolutely fine, don't worry about it. It's not your fault, it's your parents. Look, you're going to live an almost normal life. Look, Harry Potter's dyspraxic, and he's doing well. They meant the actor, Daniel Radcliffe. I thought I was going to Hogwarts. <laughs> Instead, I ended up going to another room with more teachers and less sharp scissors. <laughs> Nothing makes you look more like you have learning disabilities than thinking you know how to do magic. <laughs> For two weeks, I was going around casting spells. Alright. I can't spell it on this and all that shit. Like, I even went to the lengths of I made myself a wand, ladies and gentlemen. I made myself a wand because I wanted to be like Daniel Radcliffe. I went to the woods, I sat there, and I carved myself a wand. The same tragic, tragic woods where my mum didn't get fucking shot. Thank you very much! Yeah!